the book review by Editor Mala Adedukun. My book is called Chasing Hero Brian. I will be paraphrasing some of the slides because my recordings might be too long. The genres of this book are comic, ghost story, graphic novel, and adventure fiction. The author is Kara J. Stevens, and the illustrators are David and Elias Norgren. The main characters of this book are Phoenix, C.H., Sander, Bonzo, Bailey, Kel, and Layla. Prologue. A girl named Phoenix fulfilled the Ender Eye prophecy and defeated the Ender Dragon with the help of her friend, T.H., and her brother, Xander. Unfortunately, they got kicked out of their village, Xanos, for defying their loss. Phoenix and many others left Xanos in protest. Eventually, they came out of the walls of Xanos and started a new life there. Phoenix and her brother, were about to go to God treating on Halloween. Suddenly, T.H. scares Xander when he leaves, leaves his house. Then they go to go treat him before they arrive at the Halloween party. When they get there, Phoenix's mom gets worried because she thought something bad might have happened to them. During the party, a kid named Bonzo tells other younger kids a ghost story about Nash and Hero Brian. When he finished telling the story, the lights turned off and the kids got scared. People left the party scared. Middle. Phoenix um, then goes to the soldier dragon scroll about what happened at the party. She then tells CH what the scrolls told her about the party. They tried to set trap for the reaper, who turns out to be a little rich kid named Kel, a pawn and not the actual reaper, but still a reaper. Then they build a slight trust bond and look for the real reaper. Phoenix and her, and her friends go along with Kel to a cave to look for the reaper. Kel tricks them by giving them broken tools. Later, they find another portal and go to the dice where the reaper strikes in. They get net kicks from their friends as zombie pigment pirates. They later see the reaper and chase after him. They fight him and attack with him at a dead end. Then he tells them that he and Kel got special powers from the defender. They find out their hero line is actually the nemesis the defender. He tells them he gives his servants powers to get to his bidding. They get in a huge fight and capture him and take him back to their village in the cage. They consult the scrolls again and it tells them to put the defender in his own world where he can reign. And that would also reign for peace. The end. I hope you liked the story. I would recommend this book to people who like Minecraft and funny adventure stories. Goodbye.